Welcome back to the channel. I'm Eric Porter and we're in Alaska. Sorry, there's a couple of mosquitoes up here. We're gonna have an awesome week here. I got my family with me. We're gonna do a bunch of adventures on and off the bike. We're gonna go fishing, riding, bike packing, all kinds of cool stuff. So let's get started. We're here at Kincaid Park. We're right in Anchorage and we're gonna ride some super fun trails here. So if we stay on this trail, it'll take us down to the ocean. Can you go straight down? Yep. Nice, guys. I love jumps like that. Transfer one way, hip the other. Whoa, guys, that's the ocean. How was that, Owen? Good. That's a fun trail, huh? Oh yeah, it's really fun. That's cool that it's right in the city here too. Yeah, right next to the airport. That was so awesome. We're on the coastal trail now, and this goes all the way around to the point here. We're gonna be right under the flight path in a minute, I think, so hopefully a plane will come in or out. You got your no hand riding figured out, Milo? Yeah. Nice. Everybody loves riding no hands. Oh, you can pedal one-footed, nice. It's so hard. It is hard. That's sick, huh? Plane's yeah, landing. Wow, that's pretty cool. Feels like you're running at an incredible rate here. <laughs> you ever gone mountain biking and ridden down to the ocean before, Owen? Mm -hmm. Pretty sweet, huh? Sick, that was a good one. <laughs> Dang, that, that was, was good. that's the best kind. We're just kind of in cruises, right? That was seven. That was like a boat. Yeah. After a great first day of riding in Anchorage, we headed down to Homer to get out on the water for a day of king salmon fishing with our cousin Archie. This was Milo's first time fishing in the ocean and he loved it. Good job. Good job. Good job. One more time, just lift, lift. You got it. You got, got it. it. Oh, up, 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 Nice job, Milo. That was a lot of work drill. Are you okay? <laughs> it's work, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. How hard is that? That's really hard. Good job, Arch. What do you think it is, Archie? Well, I thought it was white because of the white yeah. thing attached. Nice, All right. nice. Nice. Good. All right. What do you think of that, Milo? It's pretty sick. Ooh, you got that. Got it? Whoa! Whoa! That was on the spoon. That was good. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, you got the biggest yeah. one so far, I think. Wait. See, she always catches the biggest one. Yeah. Next, we drove to Hope to watch the start of the Kenai 250 bikepacking race. This is a cool grassroots event that sends riders on a 250 mile self-supported race through the Kenai Peninsula, which is the ancestral land of the Denina people. Maybe one day we'll come back to race it as a family.
Now it's our turn to get back on the trail, this time for our first ever family bikepacking trip. We're headed to Lost Lake where the Kenai 250 passes through to find our own adventure. You may have seen our recent video which was dedicated to this bikepacking trip, but this is a more behind the scenes look at our journey. Stay tuned to the channel for the next video where we'll talk about how to get ready for a trip like this on your own. Whoa, the well, you can see the snow there. line right there. So we're basically at it. What do you guys think? We're up here at the top. It's cold. We're in the clouds and it's windy. And we're trying to get some dinner going for the family. So filter in some water and get a boiling, get some, get some food cooking. We're sleeping in all of our clothes to stay warm. So when we're eating, you can't spill food on yourself. It's not like at home where you can just get covered Ooh. in food and it's okay, right? So no eating like a pig. No eating like a pig. <laughs> okay, yeah. Show me how a little pig eats. <laughs> it's 11 p.m. We got on the trail at 6, 6 p.m. Temperature dropped fast. It's been a big day for him and everyone had a little bit of a meltdown at the end of the day. But let's be honest, who doesn't have a meltdown when they take their family to Disneyland? So you might as well have one out in the woods. They're gonna walk away from this trip stronger and with more confidence than before. So the next tough situation they encounter, it's not gonna be that tough. How are you guys doing? Hi. Hilarious. You guys ready to sleep? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know what we are. <laughs> Well, it's after midnight, so probably tired. I love you guys. You did awesome today. I'm really proud of you. Thanks. We have fire now. We're, we're up to caveman status now. We have fire. <laughs> oh, shoot. What's up? I got my sock. <laughs> Dude, I got a hole in it. Brand new smart wheels. When you dry your stuff up by the campfire, inevitably you're gonna burn something, maybe a few things. <laughs> you gotta keep a close eye on it. You got speed holes in those socks now. <laughs> now since we have a base camp set up, we can take our bike packing bags off and go for a day ride up to the lake, scout it out. There's a bunch of awesome trail up here that's really fun to ride. Should be a good day. Trail sandwich. Yeah. Nice climbing, Owen. Yeah. Made it to the lake. Nice work, guys. <laughs> Whole family made it to the lake. Nice work. Thanks. Isn't it funny that half the lake is still frozen? <laughs> like my face. I really didn't know if I could, if I can do this. I know I could, but there was definitely this doubt inside of me because I've just, time and getting older and having kids and just different things. And so, it was something that I worked towards and um, trained for a bit before coming up and I feel strong and I did it and now I'm confident to go out there and do more down the road. Nice. Yeah, working on it. You're doing great, buddy. Yeah. We thought it might be warm and sunny and uh, we'd hang out here, go swimming, go fishing, but of course it's Alaska and decided to be like 30 degrees and uh, cold, but that's all right. Hmm. Well, I don't want to leave the trip. Like, even this bikepacking trip, I don't want to leave. You want to keep bikepacking for longer? Yeah. Is it pretty fun? Yeah. I think I like the biking part better than the packing part. 
Me too, Owen. Gotta put a little extra pressure in for the weight with the bags and everything. Perfect. Well, it's supposed to be for a water bottle, but I figured I could fit him. The snacks and stuff. He's the boss of the snacks, so I'm gonna put some snacks right here. <laughs> you can say that. Wow. Away we go! I've ridden a lot of beautiful places all around the world, but this is just insane. Riding amongst some of the biggest mountains around with the views of the ocean right down there. The best part, ripping down awesome descent. This has been such an unreal trip. Remember to keep singing and stuff, Owen, so if there's a bear up there, they can hear you. We were climbing up this just three days ago. You did it, Owen. Milo. You did it. Owen, nice work. Okay. There we go. I can't believe I went down everything. You did it. Hey. Woo. Nice work. I'm proud awesome. of you. Thanks. That was fun. That was awesome. You it was did too so short. Good. Thank you. I followed your guys' lines all the way down. It was a cold couple nights in the backcountry, but it was an awesome time. And now it's time to treat ourselves at the Hotel Alaska in Girdwood. We're gonna jump in the pool, the hot tub, go hiking, and get back on the bikes again too. It's cold and rainy today and plus we're pretty tired from the bike packing trip. So our favorite Girdwood activity is to go to the Crow Creek Mine, pan for gold, and check out all these old cool buildings that are original. And this is where they lived and mined for gold here in the Girdwood area. It's pretty rad to see. In the North Carolina video, we got to pan for gold in the little old miner shack, but this is the real deal. So we're gonna go to the creek and actually pan for gold and see if we can find some. So what we do, once we got all the big rocks out like that, then we hit it here and the gold is the heaviest, so it's gonna settle down to the bottom. So then we go like this, a swirl, swirl. There's a flake, there's two flakes. You see that? Look at that. Let's put those in your vial. Then we can save them. That's awesome, huh? You found gold. Yeah. Real panning for gold, buddy. When you come to Alyeska, it's pretty cool to take the tram up and check it out up here. It's a super good view of the water. There's awesome food and there's a bunch of snow, so we're gonna have a little snowball fight at the end of June and uh, have some fun. There's still so much snow up here that the bike park isn't open, but we're gonna ride the bottom part of the mountain this afternoon. Our family has a really special connection with Alyeska Resort. My wife grew up skiing here as a little girl. 
We got married here 15 years ago, and now it's really cool to bring the kids back here at an age that they can remember it and use this as an adventure base camp for everything around Girdwood. So we're gonna check out this new flow trail they built close to the base of the resort and go have some fun. This climb's got some steep bits, I think, guys. Okay. You ready for some steep climbing? Maybe. We'll see how steep it is. Let's we'll see if we got this, Milo. This thing's like a wall, isn't it? Yeah. Holy moly. Nice work, buddy. Are you getting it, Owen? No way. Oh, that's hard. Well, I can barely walk it, so it's hard. <laughs> For sure. Nice climbing. Thanks. You like climbing? Yeah. It's fun to do hard like climbs like that. It's a fun challenge, isn't it? Yeah. You ready to rip down now though? Yeah, definitely ready. That was fun, huh, boys? Nice one. Side hits are the best. Yeah. You having fun? Yeah. Thanks for watching. We had an awesome time here in Alaska. We had a bit of everything with the weather and got to get out on some really big adventures together. And the first bike packing trip was a huge success. So, should we do another one sometime? If you're not subscribed to the channel, we'd love to have you here so you don't miss out on any future videos. And we're gonna keep having fun up here. We'll see you on the next adventure. Speed racer. You built for speed or what? Yep. Show us your speed base. That's maximum velocity for your kids. Yeah.